hi all good evening so today i'll show you uh in dynatrace how to create a workflow okay so there is a new topic in dynatrace that is called workflow i think uh in the new tenant right new ui the dynatrace ha has announced uh, a new feature is called workflow so first you need to understand that what is workflow so workflow is nothing but just like a sequence of steps okay uh, sequence of steps so there will be proper execution steps okay to perform to perform to perform uh, to perform a specific goal related to monitoring a specific to goal a specific to to goal what is your goal right so in that case analyzing yeah managing your application yeah in infrastructure that workflow can range can help you like a task like a setting up the uh, setting up the what you used to call proper executions right suppose you wanted to have like a total how many bookings was happened okay based on that business event right how many bookings was happened based on that uh, so you can create a set of uh, flow and you can understand that okay so today i will give you some simple workflow how you can create that and uh, that require again a dql query uh dynamic query language okay so from the grill database okay so let's see how you can create that okay so i'm creating one basic one so i'm in workflow tab okay so you can see this is my workflow tab okay what i will do is once you open that workflow just you select that so i'm taking a time so you have a different type of scheduler how you want to execute you want to execute cron scheduler area yeah, you want to execute time intervals like uh whenever uh you want to as you can run that right yeah fixed time triggered okay whenever you want to trigger it will get triggered so you can schedule it right so i'm taking a time interval in uh uh scheduler so i'm selecting this so i'm trying to run every one minute so, so to understand for you guys time zone you can also select don't run before uh, 11 59 and the start date i'm starting from today okay so this is my uh this one scheduler okay then i'm adding a new task so add a new task sorry so task got added and i'm selecting a so got execution dql query okay so dql query uh what you should write i will take a booking so i will type as a gets underscore booking the simple one gets underscore booking and uh, i need to write a dql query over there right so already i have written that dql query and condition i'm not trying to put anything option also sample result also i don't know this is my sample result okay mapping a status type of string content type of string content to content three log level all those things okay so this is my this is my sample result based on the input okay then again i'm adding a task and again i'm taking a execution of dql query and writing the dql query so this is a very big query this is my big query so this is my sample results and this is my condition okay so you can here you can type it like uh, gets for booking underscore list add in something 
listing something you can type button listing something okay so this is my query if you run this okay so just now i ran if you run this you can see these are total four records okay in the last one minute okay based on the time frame that we have selected so we have a four records okay booking list four booking id this one booking id this one booking id this one booking id this one okay so this is the how you can create a workflow okay? and this is very uh simple so you can create a lot of things like uh for Kafka, for application monitoring, some you wanted to do some uh, performance testing based on that certain condition, you can create a big workflow and uh, you can do that, okay? So if you wanted to know more uh, related to workflow, just you contact me and send me an email uh, so that I can guide you in a uh, little uh, broader level, okay? So hope everyone is clear, okay? So you wanted to understand how you can write a decal query, yeah, you want to understand how you can create a workflow based on your use case uh, definitely i'll guide you that okay uh, based on your use case okay so that's it for this lecture hope uh, it will be little you can able to understand how the workflow is going. only the thing is you need to understand how you can write a decal query okay so make sure that you should have a good understanding how you can write a decal query and if you understood that how you can write a decal query then you easily you can create a workflow for this for that for your use case okay so that's it for this lecture thanks for watching